everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so in today's video, I honestly haven't done a makeup video in what feels like forever. I feel like it's been so long. I think the last makeup video I did was like a Sephora haul, but like a makeup review, I feel like it's been a really long time. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing just that. I'm gonna be reviewing the Glamlight Frosted Flakes collection. How adorable is this? Now you guys can see why I ended up purchasing this collection in the first place. I only got two things. I only got the highlighter and the palette. I was just gonna get the highlighter, but then the shipping price was kind of a lot. So I decided to get both of these two products and the shipping wasn't too horrible. The shipping did take forever though. Being from California and I'm in Western Canada, I didn't like travel across Canada or anything like that. This took a good month to get to me, maybe a little bit over a month. So it was a little bit ridiculous and I don't think I'm gonna be ordering from Glamlight again however this collection is super super cute and that is why I ended up purchasing it because it stood out to me it's different it's unique it's cute so I am gonna be taking photos of everything and yeah I just can't wait to crack this open so if you guys are not already subscribed please go ahead click the subscribe button below I upload three times a week Sunday Wednesday and Friday and as you guys can tell I have most of my makeup on today I am just missing my highlighter obviously and my eyeshadow I'm gonna open it actually from the bottom so I can close it again because I think the packaging is just the cutest like look at this it even comes in a bag like a bag of cereal how adorable. So packaging, 10 out of 10. I absolutely love it. So this is the little palette right here. Looks just like a Frosted Flakes cereal box. So, so cute. That's what that looks like. And then the palette itself looks like this. So definitely colors that are a little bit unique. You don't see this color story very often. You don't see a lot of those rusty tones like that with blues and stuff. So you do see a lot of like blue and gold palettes, but those rusty tones up there make it a little bit unique, I feel like. It's kind of like warm and cool at the same time. So I'm excited to play with this. I'm excited to create a look with it. I think I already know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go for a mostly uh, like a gold look today, something summery that you can wear on an everyday basis and then do like a pop of blue at like the bottom lash line and stuff. So very, very excited to try this out. And then of course the highlighter. How can we forget about the highlighter? The highlighter comes in this milk carton. It's so cute. Let's just have a look at the packaging real quick here. Very cute and just wait. If you haven't seen this yet, Ha, success I have put the milk carton back so the packaging of this highlighter it is a cereal bowl look at that and it has the frosted flakes on top this is definitely what stood out to me when I first saw this collection I was like that looks actually super realistic and super cool so again the packaging it's the packaging for me it's just so cute so let's go ahead and get started i am going to create a quick look with the eyeshadow palette just to test it out this is my first time trying this brand glam light so i don't know really what to expect so hopefully it performs great and the highlighter i mean i'm very excited to try this out so let's get into the look i'm going to start to zoom you guys in a little bit and then we can yeah, we can create an eye look or something like that. So let's get started. Guys, I'm so excited to use this palette. I've been waiting for it for so long in the mail. Like, I think it came last week or something like that, but I haven't had time to film until today. So I already have my Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer on, 
And if you guys are wondering what's on my lips, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Collection. Um, it is the lip liner, lipstick, and lip bath. So I really like that color combination and I think it's gonna go perfect with this since it's just so full of rich colors. I think a neutral lip would go perfect. I also paired it with a peach blush from MAC. I think this is called Spring Sheen. I'm gonna take just a crease brush. This is just one from Morphe and it is the number five crease brush. So I'm gonna take the lightest color of the palette and it's called So Tasty. It's this one right here. This looks like the closest to be a, what is it called, transition color. However, I feel like this is a little bit too dark for my skin tone as a transition color. But if you are darker tone, this is gonna look great on you. I'm just gonna look a little bit more orange on me than I would like it to be. I already tell you if you have hazel eyes this color is gonna make your eye color just pop and look so good so I am already impressed with this palette so this color performed really well there was no fallout there is barely any powder in the pan as you guys can see so very very good quality for this palette pretty impressed so far I kind of dig this so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna do Tony the tiger which is this orangey color I'm gonna do that a little bit in the crease and then I'm gonna follow up with that dark brown over here and I'm gonna put that on the outer V. And then for my lid color, I'm gonna be taking Yumminess, which is that gold. Again, same thing with the eyeshadow. It's not super dusty or anything in the pan, which is a great sign, especially since I already have my foundation and stuff on. I don't really like retouching it after I put my eyeshadow on. blending with this brush as I go along. It's a really nice fluffy brush, great for blending as you go along. So let's move on to the next color, which is called Crunchy, and it is that brown color at the end. I don't know if this is going to be deep enough for the look that I'm going for, but I mean, I don't really have another option when it comes to richer browns in this palette. This is really the only one. It's okay, I would have preferred it to be just a slightly bit deeper, but I don't want to add any black or anything like that to deepen up this crease. You can create so many looks with this palette, you guys. You don't have to just go for the neutrals. You could definitely go ahead and do like blue, just an all over blue look if you really wanted to. You could do like a smoky eye with the blues. There's just so many options with this palette. Okay, usually I have to take a minute and like blend off camera or something, but this blended super well. There is very, very minimal fallout. Like there's no fallout that I can see. Super impressed with Glam Light's formula. It's too bad the shipping sucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Yumminess, which is this gold right there. Oh, I might have to wet my brush. I don't know, I think so. Like I was gonna say, normally I put this on top of a cream base, these glitter colors, so I guess that's what I'm going to do because nothing is really coming up on my brush right now. So I'm gonna do just my main process, which is add a cream base and then wet the shadow and pack it on. Okay, so I have my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in the color gold. I have tons of these in like so many different colors and I use them quite a lot actually. They're kind of a staple for me in like my everyday eyeshadow routine. Not that I wear eyeshadow on an everyday basis, I used to. And I definitely, definitely love these cream bases. They make such a huge difference when it comes to pigmentation, fallout, and just overall, just how an eyeshadow applies. These make such a huge, huge difference. So I just kind of blend that out with a synthetic small brush like this. And these also like last years. Like I've had some of them for years and years and years. So they definitely last and they're definitely one of those like inexpensive products that work. 
I'm gonna go back into that gold color called yumminess. I'm gonna kind of pack this on my brush a little bit. I also have my Morphe setting spray here, and this is kind of what I use to just foil my eyeshadows with. And again, like this is such a chunky, glittery, frosty shade, and there's no fallout, even though I packed that onto my brush. Like I packed it on. So very, very impressed with this formula so far. It's really good. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that pigment, you guys. And it just sticks onto that base super well. It almost foils into like this beautiful, almost liquid eyeshadow look. It's so cool. Oh my goodness. Are you guys seeing the pigment? Wow. I absolutely love it. It kind of reminds me of something I would wear to like an Indian wedding or something like that. I love the bright gold of this. It's just so, so beautiful. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of blending. If you guys are wondering if this is really like hard to take off or anything like that, I just use my cellar water and it does a great, great job at taking off any like glittery eyeshadow or anything like that. So ready for the lower lash line. And then I will go off camera to do the like eyeliner, mascara and all that stuff because that stuff is not important really. I'm just more so focusing on this palette today. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Milk next. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner and I think I'm going to do Teamwork, which is this one right here and put that on my lower lash line. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go too glittery. Like I don't wanna use one of those sparkly blues on my lower lash line because that gold is so sparkly. I don't want to take anything away from it. So I'm just going to go with a matte color. Were you guys seeing this inner corner highlight though? Like this milk color is gorgeous. So same brush. I'm going to go ahead and take should I do teamwork or should I do blue? You know what? Actually, I want to make this as close to the cereal box as possible. So I'm going to take this blue right here called teamwork. And that is going to be my lower lash line color. Again, like very, very minimal powder on that shadow. And for mattes like this, I expect them to be dusty. I expect them to be powdery. This is, this is it. I love this. Okay, the pigmentation on these shadows, oh my gosh, it's all there. It looks so good. And that's not even with a base underneath it or anything. Normally with colors like this, they struggle and you have to like add a white base underneath it, but not this. This palette, oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. So I'm going to be doing my eyeliner and I will come back on camera to give you guys the final look and then we'll play with the highlighter. So, okay I'll guys, so this is the final look with, actually, I forgot the mascara, damn it, hold on. Okay guys, this is the final look with the mascara. I feel like the mascara makes such a huge difference, especially with this bright blue under my lower lash line. So that is the look that I came up with, with the Frosted Flakes eyeshadow palette from Glam Light. What do you guys think? Do you think I should have went all out blue? I don't know. <laughs> I think that would have been too intense. I just did like a full like teal smoky eye yesterday. So I wanted to do something a little bit more neutral today. So yeah, that is the look I came up with. All in all, like, let me just zoom you guys out. Actually, no, let's do the highlighter next. And then I will kind of go over everything after that. So again, cutest, cutest packaging ever. Um, am I gonna be able to get this open? That is the question. I feel like nothing is possible in my life without tweezers. Tweezers just help with everything. If you have any sort of nails, even if you didn't have nails, like stuff is hard to open. So tweezers are like my best friend. So let's shake some of this highlighter out and see what we're getting. That's what it looks like. Kind of looks to be like a nice light champagne gold color. This is the kind of colors that I go for on an everyday basis. So 
I have my trusty highlighter brush here. Okay. Um, so when I pick it up on the brush and kind of try to dust off the excess, it all comes off. But with these type of highlighters, I do like to use my Morphe setting spray. Now I don't have a mirror. Okay, here's my mirror. I normally like to use my Morphe setting spray to kind of wet it a little bit, especially with like any type of loose powder. Oh, okay, okay. This is not an everyday eyeshadow look either, but this is not an everyday highlighter. This is like special occasion. I'm going to a party. I'm trying to make my highlighter just pop and everyone to like stare at me type highlighter. This is intense. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool. I think it's good for somebody that's filming or somebody just wants their highlighter to be super intense. If I filmed with this highlighter on, oh my goodness, like you can actually tell I'm wearing highlighter. I love that. Because half the time you can't even really tell that I'm wearing highlighter when I'm filming because, you know, like the lights and everything. So all right, you guys, that is the final look. So I'm going to zoom you guys out and we're going to talk about the collection and what I think about it. Okay, so first of all, this palette, 10 out of 10, highly recommend this. I don't have any complaints. It's very pigmented. It didn't have a lot of fallout or anything like that. Like I mentioned earlier, like on the actual matte colors and everything it's not super powdery like i was expecting it to be the color the quality how it blended the pigmentation just all of it is there with this palette the packaging 10 out of 10 i loved all of the packaging for this collection i think they did a great job and this is what i am expecting whenever i see a collection that's a collab you know like there's so many makeup brands that collab with coca-cola for some weird reason and all their packaging was boring like even morphe's coca-cola collection like i feel like they could have just you know created a coke bottle with some brushes inside or something like that just something cute like this like it just yes this is this is how you do packaging okay this is how you do packaging look at this highlighter okay so let's talk about this highlighter next then. So it wasn't what I was expecting it to be. If you guys kind of look at the highlighter in the packaging, it kind of looks to be like a, you know, like a light champagne kind of everyday look type highlighter. But no, this is bright. It's very highlighty. It, gives you that frosted glow and I get what they're going for. I get that they're going for that bright white frosted glow and that is what you're getting with this highlighter. That being said, it's not gonna suit every single skin tone. I feel like it's gonna suit more lighter medium skin tones unfortunately, but this palette I feel like it's gonna suit everyone. This is gonna suit the darkest skin tones and it's gonna look amazing on you. So this palette, yes, I definitely think it caters to everyone. This highlighter on the other hand, Man, like I get what they're going for. I get that they're going for like a, you know, like a very frosty glow and that is exactly what you're getting. So I will definitely be using this. I will definitely be using both of these products. So yeah, that is pretty much my review. I give this highlighter like a, I guess I would give it a 10 out of 10 because it does everything that's supposed to. It's pigmented and I mean, come on, you can see my highlighter for once. So yeah, I give everything a 10 out of 10. I don't usually rate things like this. I usually am a little bit more harsher on my products, but there's nothing to be harsh about. This collection was bomb. They killed it. Great job, Glam Light. So if you guys are looking for this collection, I'm, I don't know if it's still available. Hopefully it's available because I just got it like a week ago. So hopefully it's still on the Glam Light site. If you are in Canada, just be warned that shipping times are very extremely long. So that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.